Hello friends, Namaste. If I give you one task that develop the various objects or a solids with the help of a plain sheet, can you able to do it? Yes, you can able to do it. So that is what we are going to call as what development. See, development is a process or a technique of developing various surfaces of a solid with the help of plain sheet. So that we are going to call as what development. The plain sheet may be a paper or it may be a sheet or a metal sheet. So that we are going to call as development. There is another definition of development is there. It is a process of unfolding the surfaces of a solid. So that is also called as what? Development. It is a process of unfolding the surfaces of a solid into a plain sheet. So that is also called as development. See, for example, so here we what we have it is the square prism, right? So it is a square prism, it is having a vertical faces. Suppose if I cut open from one of the vertical edge, if I cut open and if I unfold it in the form of plain sheet, so this is also called as what? Development. Are you getting my point? This is a process of unfolding the surfaces of a solid into plain sheet. So that is also called as what? Development. Have you got this one? Now, what is the application of this development? See, this is a very vast applications are there. So, these developments are used in the field of automobiles and it is used to uh, cover the outermost covering of the various machines, tanks, outermost casings and also it is used in packaging industries to pack various materials, chocolates, everywhere we are going to use the development techniques. So what is the main purpose or main use means in, in a engineering terms we can say the main objective of the engineering is to reduce the resource I mean reduce the wastage of resource also to reduce the wastage of time in constructing the objects. So this is where we are going to use the development. So we are going to use the optimum utilization of the resources that means we are going to avoid the wastage of resources so that is where we are going to use the development techniques now so there are two methods are there in the de uh, developments so which are those means radial line development and another one is a parallel line development so parallel line development is used when in the case of doing the development of prisms as well as cylinder in the case of prisms and cylinder see the vertical edges is parallel to the axis right the vertical edges is parallel to the axis and also in the case of cylinder the generators are parallel to the axis in such cases what we are going to use we are going to use the parallel line development or parallel line method see in the case of pyramids as well as in the case of cones so we are going to use the method called as radial line development or also it is called as radial line method okay so where the slant edges are not parallel to the axis right in the case of cones the generator is not parallel to the axis in such case we are going to use the radial line development now what is the name of this chapter the name of the chapter is development of lateral surfaces of solids i will repeat once again development of lateral surfaces of solids see in the prism or in a pyramid here we having a bottom face as well as we having a top face and these are the lateral faces or vertical faces in the case of pyramids it will be a slant triangular faces See here in the development, we are giving the importance in the to the lateral surfaces. So that's why the name of the chapter is development of lateral surfaces of solids. I hope you got it. In the next videos, we are going to solve various problems related to the parallel line development as well as we are going to solve the problems related to the radial line development. Thank you. Namaste. Happy learning.